Hi guys, happy Vlogmas day. What's today? Nine? Eight? I don't know, we don't. We never know these days. Um, I'm with Steven, he hasn't been in Vlogmas this entire time. Uh, He's kind of lucked out, he doesn't really like being on the camera. Um, but we are gonna go pick up some lunch at Panera. I'm kind of going through a Panera phase and I got it in my last vlog and once I like, like something, I just like get it every day. So, I'm gonna go get lunch at Panera, go get some coffee, and then hopefully pick up my packages that I wanted to unbox for you guys, but my mailroom at my complex is like, something's going on over there, so wasn't able to do that this morning. Okay, so I just got some boxes in from Revolve Beauty and Revolve, and I wanted to do a little haul and maybe even try on some pieces for you guys. This stuff is so cute, so let me get everything out so I can show you guys what I got. JK on the try on haul. The lights look super weird right now. I hate daylight savings time. Like I just feel like I can't get anything done by five o'clock, even like four. Four is kind of when it gets a little weird with the light, but I'll probably do the try on haul later. But let me just show you guys what I got from Revolve Beauty because I'm really excited to try these out. So I picked out a few things. I know that I shared the INH blow dryer yesterday, but this one is a little bit smaller of a barrel, which I think is gonna be really good for my shorter hair and mainly my bangs. And this one is from Amika. I think it's one and a half inches. So I think that'll be really good to like flare out my curtain bangs. And then I also got some product that I haven't tried before. A shampoo and conditioner from Gizu. I love this brand. This is by Negan Mercilehi. I think is how you say her name. And everything is honey infused. And I love her hair oil, her texture spray. So I'm really excited to add these to the collection. I've heard really good things about it. And if my hair looks anything like Negan's, I think that I've accomplished something. So, and then again, to go with that Amika blow dry brush and my new curtain bangs I picked out this oh my god hello focus and then along with the Amika blow dry brush I picked out this Brooklyn the Brooklyn bombshell blowout spray and again I thought that this would be a good volumizing spray for my new bangs and then the last product I picked out is from the way this is their finishing cream of all the products that I have from the way this is actually one that I haven't tried yet so I'm really excited to try this out it's supposed to give you a nice finished look with smooth ends and all that jazz so super excited to try these out I think I might wash my hair tonight I don't know my hair washing schedule is a little sus like it's a little all over the place I've probably washed my hair like five times in the last week which is very rare for me I probably maybe wash it once a week if anything um, but ever since I got my hair cut I've been like trying to blow it out right and obviously that means wetting your hair I might honestly wet my hair tonight just so I can try out the blow dryer maybe I'll do that for you guys later on to show you guys how I attempt to blow out my new bangs other than that, I have a Zoom happy hour with the San Tropez team. If you guys didn't know, I'm an ambassador for San Tropez, so it's like a little holiday cocktail Zoom, which I'm really excited about. They actually also sent over some champagne, which I thought was so cute. So like I said, they sent over some champagne, which was such a nice surprise. It got delivered by this local um, delivery place called The Wine Feed. Um, I live in Raleigh. I don't know if this is like a chain, but I thought that was really cool how this guy just like came over and brought me a bottle of champagne. He checked my ID and everything and then just dropped it off and left it with me, so that's pretty cool. I'm thinking now I might get even lazier knowing that alcohol can get delivered to my house. <laughs> it's literally been like five minutes since I last took that video saying that the light was getting weird and it is so dark. Like why does it have to happen so quickly? It's so annoying. I'm still so used to the sun setting at like seven or eight. I know that everyone has been saying this, but I seriously feel like daylight savings time is so much more dramatic this year. I don't know if it's because we're stuck inside and like we're just noticing it more. Every single day, I'm shook that by four o'clock it starts getting dark. As if it's not something that I've been experiencing for the last 27, almost 28 years of my life. I can't take it. I feel so rushed throughout the day. It gives me anxiety like knowing that I barely have enough time to finish anything and our peak time in our apartment for natural sunlight for shooting content is kind of like 12 to 3 so it's a really small window when before I had like basically all day until at least 6 even pushing at seven. But I just cannot wait for this year to be over. I can't wait until 2021. I can't believe it's almost over. It's crazy to me how fast and then also how slow this year has gone, but I'm so ready for it to be over. I need it and want it to be spring already because I can't deal with this daylight savings bullshit. I can't. Sorry, this is so messy, but this looks really pretty in the weird lighting that I was just talking about. These are some shoes that I got from Revolve. This is from Song of Style such a pretty mule and I don't really have anything that's cream or white like this and let me just show you guys the packaging I mean this is the box it's this really pretty yellow it came packaged in matching tissue paper and then it even came with a dust bag for the shoes so bougie and chic I love it okay I just started trying my stuff on from Revolve and I am shook 
this dress that I just tried on. Oh, oh my God. Let me, let me show you guys the full, like what? Oh, <laughs> there's still tissue paper up there. All right, anyway, this dress is so good. I don't know if it's really picking up that wall on camera, but it's such a pretty chocolate brown. I love the ruching. I think it's really flattering on. I probably need like a little bit of fashion tape here, but it's not like super loose or anything. It's actually a really nice fit. And then there are some shoulder pads up here. Like this is so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. This is from uh, Camilla Coelho's collection with Revolve. So freaking good and then I'm wearing it with those Song of Style heels. I'm obsessed with this neckline situation. The material is so soft and thick so it's really nice and warm. You can just throw over a jacket. The shoulder pads are really nice detail too. I feel like it's just super flattering in this chest area. I am obsessed. Sorry this is kind of like a sloppy try on haul but I'm gonna do my best because I really want to share these pieces with you guys. Oh my god I'm obsessed. Oh I probably should have buttoned that. I am obsessed with this dress that I have on you guys. I know that New Year's is gonna be non-existent to like really low-key because of obvious reasons but this I might have to wipe out because it's, it's just so good. All right let me show you guys. How good? Like are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god hit after hit. This is so good for the holidays. Really good for New Year's. Body is all velvet and then this one side is sequins. This one is by Hours. Give you guys a little close up of these sequins here. So fun. I love how it's not the whole dress and it's kind of just like an accent. And then the rest of it is velvet. It's not super in your face, but it definitely has that wow factor. Okay, we're three for three over here. The dress that I just put on is also Chef's Kiss, another chocolate brown look. So sorry if you could hear my mini heater in the background. I just turned it off. I didn't realize how loud it was, but I just turned it off, so. Wow, the cutouts, so good. I feel like it really just like, you know, on the waist. Love the ruching. It's like a really dark brown chocolate color. I just, these cutouts, so good. This is by um, NBD, I believe. I should have probably looked. What does that say? Yeah, this one is by MBD. I love. We got tens across the board. I know it's picking up super dark on camera, so let me give you guys a little close up. You can see it's kind of like a really, really dark chocolate brown. Love the ruching details. Also, side note, before moving on, I forgot to mention the sizes that I was wearing for reference. I think everything that I've shared so far, all the dresses were an extra small, but this next outfit for sweaters, I got some mediums just because I like a looser and baggier fit. So let me show you guys this full look. This one is from House of Harlow, this faux leather skirt. I love the belt. I love all of the zippers and hardware. I'm wearing this skirt and an extra small and for reference my waist is like 25 26 and kind of like in between sizes and the skirt is super high waisted um it's not super tight or anything i was kind of worried since it's leather it wouldn't have any stretch but it does fit pretty perfectly i'm glad i didn't get a small because this one fits really well and the sweater i'm wearing is also from house of harlow i love it it's picking up a lot whiter on camera but i think it's more of like an off-white cream color i love it paired together with this, it's a really fun winter outfit. For this next sweater, this one is from Lovers and Friends. I didn't get a medium, I just got a small. Um, I just thought that this one might be a little too big because it had these like flare arms. I didn't want it to be super long or oversized since I'm only 5'3", but the small fits perfectly. It's a super, super soft knit. It's like a really nice beige, tan, neutral color. You guys know my favorite. And then I just paired it again with that same skirt, which I think is also a really cute outfit. I just like do a little half tuck. Tiny mistake. I didn't realize when I picked out this long sleeve that it was like a bejeweled neck. Like it's totally rhinestone. I don't mind it, but when I picked it out, I thought it was just a plain, boring basic that had no bedazzled neck, but I actually kind of like it. It's fun for the holidays. It's like adding the jewelry without having to add a necklace. 
but I'm realizing that literally everything that I've tried on so far goes perfectly with this House of Harlow leather skirt. Let me show you guys what it looks like on. This knit also is very, very soft. It's a nice thick material, perfect for winter. Again, this is just such a nice little detail. I think these two pieces together make for such a fun and edgy holiday outfit. Like it's still girly and dressy, but it has like a little bit of an edge to it. I love it. I gotta cut this a little bit short, so I'll show you guys some of those other pieces later. They're just like basic knit tops, so nothing really that you guys are missing out on, but I'm about to hop on our Saint Tropez holiday cocktail hour via Zoom. And then after that's done, I might try out that new Amika blow dryer. So I will see you guys after that's done. Okay, so it's midnight. Oh my god, this towel is so huge. These are the towels from World Market I was telling you guys about. They're like massive. I honestly think that I can use the hand towel for my hair because this is just like a lot. Um, but I just took a shower and just got done a few hours ago with the Saint Tropez Zoom holiday party, which was really fun. And then I had dinner, took a quick shower. I didn't wash my hair. I just got it wet so that I could literally use that Amika blow dryer that I wanted to share with you guys. And then I am breaking out like crazy. These are all kind of just like scars now and spotting, but it's so bad. This one's clearing up a little bit, but this is what my skin is looking like. Mm. She's messy. I'm gonna do my hair and then also do my skincare, which I don't know if you wanna follow what I'm doing, but this is basically just mask me and wearing makeup underneath my mask because I'm into a mask. I actually wanna see, Neto told me that these are big enough for her hair and she has a lot more hair than me. Let's see if I can wrap my hair. Oh yeah. Oh my God, it does fit. My hair's like not that wet anymore, I just want it out of my face. Wow, oh, that's actually so much better. I can't believe that actually fit. That's crazy. This is, for reference, what it looks like. This is the hand towel. Like, this is so big, but I'm into it. So, I already took off all my makeup. Like I said in the last vlog, I don't use makeup wipes anymore. I just use, like, a cleansing balm or something else to take off my makeup and then double cleanse. Oh, yes. Okay, let's do that. I have this little mini lit mirror. Actually, you can kind of see it back there, but a little bit of better lighting. So, I've been double cleansing and using, like, a makeup removing balm that basically just like melts your makeup away. Um, I was using the one from Pharmacy for a while, which I really, really liked that one, and then got introduced to the Lauren Conrad skincare one, which I feel like it's kind of like underrated and under the radar, but Lauren Conrad did come out with her own skincare line. I know that celebrity makeup and skincare lines can kind of be like a little eh, but I actually really like it. I totally stand Lauren Conrad and everything she does, so I'm a little bit biased, but I do really love a lot of the stuff that I got from her, so. To prove it, this is her makeup removing balm. I went through this, like like literally down to the last drops. I am obsessed with this stuff. It's a little bit cheaper than the pharmacy one too. Um, and I like how it has no scent to it and just really melts off all of your makeup. So I love that. This is basically turning into an empties review. This is my, oh my gosh. Find Your Balance Oil Control Cleanser. This is my second one that I've ever purchased and I just literally used every drop of it. This is so good if you have acne, I kind of was like spacing it out. So along with that, there's basically like nothing in these anymore, but I also have the toner. This toner is life-changing. I need to buy another one because it seriously makes such a quick difference in your acne and oil and everything like that. And then I also have the Cold Plunge Pore Mask, which I actually did. And a couple of videos ago it's like that bright blue mask but i love all of these like ula henderson just does it for me and these are both completely empty and another thing that i like this isn't an empty but i don't know how it's not empty i've had it since i moved in to my new apartment so that was like in august and it's december and there's still so much stuff left in this um it is a little bit pricier but for how long i've had it and how often i use it which is almost every day um, there's so much product left in here. I feel like it's worth every penny. So this is a daily microfoliant from Dermalogica and I use it every day. It's just a really good gentle exfoliant and I feel like it breaks down the excess dirt and everything after I take off my makeup. It's a powder formula, but you add water and like scrub it all over your face. It makes your skin so smooth. I just really like it and I'm shocked that it's like not even close to being empty. There's like a lot of product in there left. 
Um, back to Lauren Conrad. I've really been liking her vitamin C oil. I actually didn't have any that I was incorporating in my routine, so I don't really have anything to compare it to or say it's the best, but I do really like it and I've noticed a difference in my skin. It's super hydrating. I did this first, which is my cleansing balm, double cleansed with the literal last drop of this, and then did my exfoliator. I don't do this every day, but when I wear heavy makeup like today, I like to do all three, especially this guy right here. And then I'm gonna go in now with the Lauren Conrad Vitamin C Oil. I'm gonna go in with my favorite Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I haven't opened up my new one yet, but y'all, look, this is my old one. I literally folded it down to its last. I could probably still get drops out of this one, but this is the jumbo one. I guess I can't really compare it, but this one, look how teeny tiny. It was about like, I would say, here is the normal size, so you do get a lot of extra product in here. Let me see what more I can squeeze out of this because no drop of Summer Fridays will be wasted. Ah! Look, see, every drop, nothing will be wasted. I'll at least put this under my eyes. So I usually like to do like a thick layer underneath my eyes. Um, because it's really good if you have dark circles or just need a little bit of extra TLC underneath your eyes. They're puffy. I literally swear by this stuff, especially during the winter. My skin is just so freaking dry. I'm like, oh, I cannot deal. So I like to put this literally all over my face. Honestly, I'm about to cut the shit open so I can get like every drop of it. Let's see. Ah, okay, I might have to open the new bottle. Ah, nope, see, have faith. Look at all that product I just got. But I basically just lather this all over my face. So, like I said, I didn't wash my hair. I've washed my hair like five times in the last week, which is so unlike me. I wash my hair at most twice a week. I just can't do it. I like dirtier hair. It styles better, it just holds better, it feels better. I'm just not about clean hair. So I didn't wash my hair, but I did really want to try the new Gizu shampoo and conditioner that I got, but I just told myself no, because I have to film a hair video on Friday and my hair schedule is just going to be like all fucked up. And I just, you know what I mean? When your hair schedule gets messed up. So I did just wet it so that I can use the new Amika blow dryer that I got. This one is the one and a half inch barrel. I do have the INH blow dryer. I wanna try these on my new bangs because I feel like they'll flare them out a little bit better since it's a smaller barrel. Okay, random first impression thoughts that have really nothing to do with the actual blow dryer itself. The cord is so long. Like, <laughs> I feel like this is the longest. This is like plugged in behind the camera. This is so long, which I appreciate because I move around a lot and I don't like not always right by the socket. So I do really like that. So it looks like there's only one setting. I don't know if there's only one. Hold on, let me see. Interesting. Is it like a straightener? I'm so confused. Is it heating up? I'm so confused. Am I doing this wrong? It's like, did I not get a blow dryer? Am I crazy? So this is like the on and off button. That's in the middle and then this is up. Why is it not blowing air? Oh my gosh, it's getting hot. Oh my god, maybe it's just a brush. Oh, you can, you use this on literal dried hair. I'm such an idiot. Okay, hmm, I just assumed it was a blow dry brush. This is a Blowout Babe Thermal Brush by Amika. It is not a blow dry brush. It is a Blowout Babe Thermal, thermal Brush. It is designed to unleash the inner bombshell in you. The Blowout Babe Thermal Brush creates that quote, just blown out look without a blow dryer or hot air. I thought this was a blow dryer. Now I can't use it because my hair is wet. This is what happens when you don't read the instructions or and in general, because clearly it's funny because I also picked this out from Revolve and it's the Amica Brooklyn Bombshell Blowout Spray. Why are these so hard to say? Interesting, yeah, mist on damp hair and then blow dry. Such a fucking idiot. I mean, this is still really cool, so I'm really excited to try this anyway. This preserves moisture for healthy and hydrated hair. It's an ionic generator that increases negative ion output. I don't know what any of these words mean. It's supposed to give you shiny, smooth, frizz-free results and zero static, which we love to hear because my hair gets very staticky sometimes. This is a 9.8 foot cord. This is crazy. I mean, if you saw this, would you not think that this is a blowout brush? Especially when it's called a blowout babe thermal brush, but I guess thermal 
could have been my mistake. Okay, well, I guess we're not testing this today. This will be tomorrow's vlogmas. Now I shouldn't have washed my hair or wet my hair. All right, well, hmm, is this the end of the video? Because I'm a fucking idiot? Cool, great, glad we all settled that. I guess actually while I'm here and my hair is wet, I was gonna do this anyway. I'll show you guys how the INH blow dry brush works. This is an actual blow dry hairbrush and air comes out of it and it dries your hair. So I did spray the Amika blowout bombshell spray. I'm about to have a nip slip up in here. Okay, so looks like this. There are three settings, cool, low, and high. I usually just do it on low and then literally just brush out my hair and then like put pressure on it to curl the ends like this. Or not curl, but you know, bend it. I'm really already done with this side. Okay, this blow dries so quickly. I didn't do my front bangs because I kind of want to focus on them a little bit more so that I can show you guys how I'm trying to do it. Um, but so far compared to the Revlon blow dryer that's super similar to this, um, I like this one better for a couple of reasons. This one is a lot more lightweight than the Revlon one. I gave it to my sister so I don't have it here to like put them up side by side for comparison. And this one definitely does not get as hot as the Revlon one. The one thing I didn't like about the Revlon one is that it felt super hot against my scalp, especially since my hair is a little bit shorter. I felt like it was closer to my face most of the time. So I do like how this one isn't as hot, but it still dries my hair very quickly. And it looks really good. It gave it a lot of volume. I also used the Amica spray. And I think I'm gonna try to work on my bangs now. So I know that you're supposed to Blow them like up and out, but I just, I feel like I can't do it. I haven't had bangs in so long, and if I did, I never blow dry them. So I guess I'm gonna gather my bangs. I feel like it literally didn't do what I wanted it to do, but. I mean, it definitely like gives full. I just wanted to, like, why don't they? <clears throat> Jessica did it so well the other day, and I like can't. I can't get it. I'm being so frustrated. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Maybe that's the way I have to go. Okay, you know what? I give up for tonight. <laughs> but maybe tomorrow I'll try out this guy because I feel like this could really help like with the flipping since it's like basically a curler but a brush so I feel like I can maybe get that like what it claims a blowout look um because I mean like, the rest of my hair looks blowouty but like this I just I want it to flip I don't know how to make the flip that's that we tried oh well um I tried this is the end for real thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow Thank you.